Hello my dear students, welcome to my channel again and today I am going to dis uh, discuss with you a very important and interesting topic in chemistry that is how electrons are distributed in an atom. Yes, Bohar suggested that every atom has uh, some uh, definite energy level shells where electrons are distributed according to their energy, they are fixed energy levels right and now i am going to tell you how they are distributed in the shells that you can see a model of atom here and you can see this is the nucleus which is which comprises protons and neutrons in it they have a fixed number of protons and neutrons in it and they have and they have a fixed number of electrons and that is known as atomic number of element right as uh, for example we can say that hydrogen has one electron and one proton in its nucleus and electron revolves around the nucleus right uh, as uh, we can see the example of helium helium is an atom is an element which have two protons and two electrons yes electrons are revolving around the nucleus say for example we can see the example of another element uh, we can say sodium yes sodium is an element whose atom consists of 11 protons and 11 electrons in it electrons are revolving around the nucleus now i will discuss with you the how these electrons are distributed around the nucleus as we have fixed shells Look at this atom. This is an example of argon's atom. Argon is an atom which have 18 electrons in it and which are revolving around the nucleus which consists of 18 protons. And neutrons are also there but we are talking about electrons only because we are uh, uh, talking about the distribution of electrons in it. Look we can see it. This is the first shell. First shell contains two electrons we can see second shell second shell is consisted of eight electrons and third also there are eight electrons then how do we decide this this can be decided but this rule this is two and square rule so i think i suppose i must move to the whiteboard so that i can explain it to you let's move to the whiteboard and we will discuss about the 2 and square rule. Okay, what does 2 and square rule? 2 and. And means n is the number of shell. What is it? We know that the shells are K shell, L shell, M shell and N shell and we can name them as K is equal to 1 L is equal to 2 and M is equal to 3 and is equal to 4 and so on. Right? Now, if we have to decide how much electrons the first shell that is K shell can accommodate, we have to put this rule in into it. Now, we can write 1 in place of N and yes, we can say that first shell, first shell can accommodate 2 electrons. Now, Let's move to second shell. We will find out how many electrons does second shell can accommodate. So, we will put 2 in place of N and calculate it. This comes out to be 8. Yes, 2 to the 4 and 4 to the 8. Yes, the second shell can accommodate 8 electrons. This is it. How we calculate the accommodating power of shells how much electrons and shell can accommodate now moving again to our green board let's move there and find it out how many electrons are accommodated they accommodated in the first shell second shell and third shell right okay we can see here the first shell is having two electrons that we have calculated second shell is having eight electrons and third shell is also having eight electrons my dear students now we have to study up to 18 elements only in class 9 because this will be beyond uh, our uh, scope of uh, this class that we have we study the uh, subshell concept that is spdf con uh, concept in your class so we will stick to 288 law 
that is 288 low a element can accommodate electrons according to their shells how many electrons can be accommodated can be calculated by the rule 2 and square that we have calculated now only right my dear students this is the way how we calculate this now please keep in mind every element have a definite number of electrons in it and we have to distribute the electrons which an element already have with it we cannot distribute more than 11 electrons in sodium atom we cannot distribute more than 18 electrons in argon right we cannot distribute more than one electron in hydrogen we cannot distribute it more and distribute more than three electrons in lithium let us see some more examples as i say i can uh, yes this is example of boron boron has atomic number of 5 so we can only distribute five electrons in an atom of boron so five electrons are distributed first of all we will fill the innermost shell that is the capacity of innermost shell is two electrons that is why it is having two electrons in its innermost shell now coming to second shell only three electrons are left with boron to be distributed so only three electrons are distributed in the second shell and they will continue to be a uh, filled the the shell will continue to be filled up to they get eight electrons say for example this is carbon now carbon has atomic number 6 it means it has six electrons in it in its atom so first shell we have to distribute only six electrons first shell will accommodate how many electrons yes first shell will accommodate two electrons so this is it first shell is having two electrons how many electrons are left with carbon now very nice four car uh, four electrons are left with carbon they will move to second shell correct take one another example let's see it with fluorine fluorine is an element having atomic number 7 it means it a uh, 9 i'm so sorry 9 it means it have 9 electrons so we can distribute only 9 electrons first shell will have two electrons now fluorine is left with only seven more electrons they are to be filled in second shell so there is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and seven electrons in second shell this is how the electrons are filled arranged uh, accommodate in the accommodated in the shells of an atom until the complete uh, until the orbit is completely filled no electron can be shifted to higher energy level this rule must be followed now this shell when the shell is completed with eight electrons that is in case of neon neon will be a neon is an element having atomic number 10 so the electronic configuration will be 2 and 8 after neon the element is sodium with atomic number 11 so electronic configuration of sodium will become 2 in first shell 8 in second shell now this makes 10 one more electron is left that electron will be shifted to third shell i suppose this is very much clear with you now this is how we distribute the electrons in shells so my dear students you are to practice a lot uh, about the distribution of electrons that is what we call as electronic uh, that is uh, yes we call it as electronic configuration now you are supposed to i will give you a homework make a list of elements from atomic number 1 to atomic number 18 and try write down electronic configuration of these elements and definitely i will be there to help you out with this homework so looking forward to see you in my next class in which i will be discussing valency so, my dear students i must say goodbye to you today bye bye